Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, we play around with presets and brush presets. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramely. I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France, but also living in the beautiful city of Los Angeles. I actually live between the two cities and I now make one tutorial per week. I used to make two, but now I'm only make one because I've got lots of lots of projects and it's hard to do everything. But I like to share as much as I can free stuff. And this week, I want to talk to you about a new series of presets that we just did and also of Lightroom presets and how they work together to get your portraits to the next level. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So I'm happy to announce that we have a new Lightroom preset, portrait presets and brushes coming out. And I want to explain you exactly what it is. It's actually two things. One is portrait presets and one is brush presets. And it's, you know, when you first start in Lightroom, it's kind of hard to understand. So let me demonstrate it to you. And I'm actually going to offer some of it for free if you watch this episode. So when you buy the entire package, you basically get two zip files, which is here. One is called a Lightroom brush preset portrait essentials full dot zip and the other one is called the lightroom presets portrait essential full dot zip now to unzip all you have to do is double click on it which i've already done and it's going to create different folders with each now in the brush preset portrait essential you also have a pdf you can double click on that's going to show you how to install it but it's very simple you just have to make sure you put everything in the right place so let me make that finer thing a little bit bigger Okay, I'm going to jump over to Lightroom and I'm going to go to Lightroom Preferences. Then you go on the second tab called Presets. Then you click on the Show Lightroom Preset folder. That's going to open the finder in a specific place where you have a lot of subfolders. Now you have to understand the entirety of Lightroom works a lot with presets. You can preset anything in Lightroom. So if I jump over here back to uh, my presets, uh, the brush preset folder, which you press command C to put into memory, into, you, you have to go to Lightroom and you have to go to the uh, blah, 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 local adjustment presets. This is where you just click on it, right click and paste. Okay, so the brush presets goes in the local adjustment presets. The Lightroom preset itself goes to the develop presets. Okay. And I've already copied it. Once you've copied it, what you have to do, and don't forget that step, is to restart Lightroom. Once you have done that, ta-da, it's all installed. And let me show you how that works. So here I am, and I've already installed the portrait, photo search portrait essential presets. So there's quite a number of presets, and there is different categories. The first category are black and white preset. Now, when you over the, uh, your ma the mouse over the different names, you can see up here in this little window a preview of what it's going to look like. And that's really very handy. Now, one thing you should notice is that presets don't always work with all the photos. But for example, let me show you on this one. All I click is uh, black and white B and W contrast and boom, the photo is a nice black and white photo and all the presets has been done. Okay, that's the purpose of presets. Let me show you a couple of other examples. So the first 10 is black and white presets, different look of black and white. Okay, and uh, so some of them are, are gonna work and some are not gonna work. Like for example, this one, uh, very stuff and very bright is not working with that photo, you know. Uh, the vintage one might work a little bit better, but not even, you know, so, but this one, the BW contrast works. So that's why you have to sort of, you know, test your photo. The whole idea is that preset is going to take you to places you did not expect. And it does that to me all the time. Okay, the next series of presets that you have in this pack is called a basic preset. Um, for example, basic, so it's called basics. Basics cast warm. It's going to give, you know, a little warm feeling to the entire photo. Or basic cast cold is going to make the opposite, a sort of a cold, you know, sort of look like this, you know. So you got about 10 basic presets and then we go into the fashion presets. So fashion presets are more, you know, uh, I would say fancy. So for example, fashion, pink and blue, uh, they are stronger. They'll give a, a more definite look to your photo. Okay. So that's a different fashion preset. As I say, some are going to work, some are not going to work at all. 
uh, extreme cold, you know, that's extremely cold. Uh, fashion contrast is when it's not going to work. But again, you can always take like fa fashion contrast and you can just, you know, bring the contrast a bit less uh, strong and maybe open up a bit the shadows and, you know, you can, and open up the blacks and just fine tune it as you want. You know, the preset can also be just a starting point. And then we have a whole new series of presets called the lights presets. So, for example, lights, uh, uh, black and white, glowing bright and skin. This one works really well in this photo. So there, there are like more light effects, you know. Um, or, and then we have a whole, so after you've done a series of light, you have the slide presets. The slide presets uh, are more subtle. There are small changes to your photo. And then you got like the, Temperature presets. Okay, that's a black and white or uh, temperature cold in contrast. Anyway, and then you have the vintage series. Uh, I like this one, for example. Or no, this one. Vintage, new vintage. Uh, this one is kind of cool. So voila. Different. That's what presets are. It's one click to get you to uh, places you would not expect. Now, let me show you what Lightroom brush presets is. This is a photo of my daughter, Marine my beautiful little daughter, Marine, and I want to show you, I want to retouch it. Now, retouching portraits in Lightroom is not as powerful as in Photoshop, but not everybody's got Photoshop, not everybody's got the time to learn Photoshop, and not everybody has the time to retouch everything into Photoshop. So doing a very light, fast retouch can be cool. Now, the way uh, brushes preset works is you have to click on the brushes tool here, and here they are. You've got uh, about 15 different presets, and for every item of the face and portrait retouching, you have something. For example, uh, the, the Grand Classic uh, soft skin. So if I click on soft skin, here is my brush. You always have, I'm going to take auto mask on, off on this one. And uh, you always have the flow. You can play with the flow for the strengths you want on it. But the whole idea is this is going to make the skin just slightly blurry, slightly, you know, I mean, even though my daughter is very young and it's got a great skin, like most young people, uh, you know, it's still nice to improve it. So let me show you here. You can see the before and after, you know, it just made the skin softer. OK, so that's an example. Now you can click. Then don't forget to click on new every time you, you, you change something in a photo. Now I can, I'm going to jump over to the eyes whiten. OK, the eyes whiten, that's going to whiten the eyes it's going to make the eyes a bit more white you know and if you think the effect is not strong i give you a little trick you just right click on the brush and click on duplicate and it's going to put it twice okay and the second time that might be a bit too strong then you can just you know lower the highlights if it's too strong okay now i did the white uh, around the eyes i'm going to click on new and i'm going to take for example uh, just the eye i like i love this one this one is going to make your eyes pop a lot Okay, I'm going to do it here and here on the eyes. And it's just going to make the entire look at this, the before and the after, before, after. A lot of change, okay? New, uh, I'm going to jump over the lips uh, bright, for example. Okay, then I'm going to put auto mask on because I only want to do it on, on the lips. And I'm going to paint this over the lips and it's going to make the lips brighter. Look at this, how they are much more shiny. If you think the effect is too much, you can just also... Check another one. You can go to lips um, full. Boom. And it's going to give you another look of the lips. But check it out. Before, after. Before, after. So it's it's just a really cool and very fast way. Let me show you uh, from um, outside. Before, after. It's just a very fast way to give a little, you know, touch up, you know. Let's continue. New. I'm going to take, for example, uh, add hair, add contrast. Okay. And I just... And I'm just going to paint on the hairs. Okay, on this one, it doesn't do much. It does a little bit. Sometimes you have the feeling that nothing happens. And then you go here and you do before and after. And you really see the difference. On the hairs on this one, it didn't do much. But I could boost the clarity and it's going to it's gonna do a lot more. Okay, on this one, I'm not going to do much. But you get the idea. And um, also, one, one that's very important is, uh, I, I clicked on you, is the uh, darken and the lighten brushes. Because the darkened brushes is very subtle. It's going to help you sculpt the face to make, for example, the face a little thinner here. You know, I could darken a little bit here the edges. And then on the other hand, click New. And I could go to Lighten. 
and uh you know and just let me put the pins uh never so i don't see the pins and you know i could make this part for example a little bit brighter or you know this part a little bit brighter so now before after I completely change the light on the face you know and if you if you find something you don't like you can just put the pins back here with auto and if you want to know what a pin did so here is one pin for example i don't like so much what i did with the um, with the darkening of the of, of the face which is probably this one so i can just right click on it and i can take it off or i don't like what i did here on on writing at this part of the face I can just click on it, select it, or oh, auto mask was on, which is not good when you paint so much the face. You, I should have taken it off. Anyways, on this one, I can just press the Alt key, and now it's a brush, and I can erase the effect, or I can even lower the flow, for example, at 50%, and now I'm only erasing 50% of the effect. I'm not erasing completely the effect, but slowly but surely erasing a little bit, you know? And you have even like brushes, like let's say if I wanted to make her cheek a little bit more pink, I can go to uh, um, Skin Rosy, for example, and uh, you know add a little bit of makeup here on her face, for example, make them a little more pink. Uh, if it's too much, I can take the eraser and just you know erase it a little bit, and voila, before and after, you know, it's actually quite a change on this face. It, it really works really well. So voila, one, one last example uh, on this little portrait of my friend Arthur. Uh, I went to fashion and there's a, a nice fashion one I like. It's called Tilt and Orange, which is, you know, the Hollywood look. Boom, one click and you have the Hollywood look. So I'm going to give away for free some of that presets, some of these presets and some of the brushes. But remember to put them in the right places. You know, uh, the brushes have to go into the... Um, let me show this to you again. This is very important because I keep getting emails of people that have trouble with this. You know, the brushes preset goes in the local adjustment presets and the classic presets goes into the develop presets. Okay, I hope this is clear. I hope you can enjoy this. I can tell you something. Presets will get you places you didn't expect. And brushes, if you take time to work and learn brushes, it probably brushes is my biggest successful action as a photographer where I got picked up by galleries and wrote books is because I spent a lot of time with brushes to make my photos pop and it really works really well. I urge you to give it a try and I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir. All right, guys, I hope you like this very simple video. Check out the Lightroom presets and check out these presets. They will take your photos to the next level. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir. Wow, wow.